In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, as we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let's call to mind those times that we sing. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me and to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Rather than to destroy it, but they remain silent. 
looking around at them with anger, looking around at them with anger and grieved at their hardness of heart, Jesus said to them, stretch out your hand. Said to the man, stretch out your hand. He stretched out and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately took counsel with the Herodians against him to put him to death. The Gospel. I think this is one of the saddest episodes in the Gospels. This is one of the saddest. There are others, of course, right? But I think this is one of the saddest. Because you have a situation here where people are looking to use faith in God as a weapon. So you can tell they're doing it right from the beginning as Jesus comes in. They're watching to see if he'll break the rules so they can accuse him. And he does break the rule. He breaks the rule. You're not supposed to be carrying people's withered hands on Sabbath. Right? It's a day of no work. And yet, he does that. He cures this man's hand. The Pharisees seek to use this action to condemn him. And what you've got is you've got these guys pointing their fingers and saying, how can this guy call himself faithful? How can he call himself pious when he doesn't follow all these rules? How can Jesus be faithful, really? He's less faithful than we are. But the point, of course, of, of rules is that they help us to follow God. We don't live for rules. We don't exist for rules. The rules exist not for God, but for us, to help us to follow God. But they are a help. It's not to say that rules are not important. They are. It's not to say that anything goes. It doesn't. But what it does say is that there's a different starting point. For the Pharisees, the starting point is looking to make sure there's adherence to the rules and to condemn those who break them. For Jesus, the starting point is something very different. The starting point is charity. The starting point is charity. Notice what he says to them. Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than do evil? And we might say, well, well there wasn't a choice between good and evil. There's a choice of good and doing nothing. But for Jesus, that's good and evil. Not to reach out with charity is evil. Jesus says it again. And so, what takes precedence? What takes precedence? Charity and love is always the basis of our faith. Without it, without it, there is no faith.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries, for whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father Most Holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it. and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, 
Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power of our Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With you. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be.
Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those who have nourished by this one heavenly bread one in mind and heart. Through Christ, O Lord. Immediately after Mass, I'll expose the Blessed Sacrament. If you are an EM and you're leaving now, please come up. Otherwise, we'll just hold the pics for you over by the tabernacle. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thank you.